Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lexi, and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul for you today. Um, I went back for a few last minute Valentine's Day party stuff, and um, yeah, just went and shopped around. It's kind of a big haul. I went back to the one finally that I haven't been to in a while, and I don't frequent, so... Yeah, we got lots of fun stuff. It was kind of a messy Dollar Tree, but they're pretty stocked, surprisingly, usually. Or they just have different stuff than what mine has. So, um, let's get into it. So first here I have this giant gift bag. Um, yeah, you can use this for anything. You can use it for, like, birthdays, or I kind of am planning on using it for a baby shower, I think. I think it will fit everything nicely in there, and it's very sweet. Yeah, I think she will like it. I love the dinosaurs. Um, and then I found this star wreath. So I thought I could do something fun for 4th of July maybe this year. Um, yeah, I love decorating for 4th of July. And last year I just left up the 4th of July stuff all summer. So um, yeah, I th think this would be fun to decorate that. Oh, this is a heavy bag. All right. I went to mostly for some food stuff, like a Valentine's Day charcuterie type thing um, for the party. And then I found these marshmallows, which I'd seen other people haul before. So they are marshmallow hearts, but they look like little cookies. Um, and you get six of them in here. So I have no idea if they taste good or not. But the, that's what they look like. They're very cute and they will go good on a little charcuterie thing. Um, and then also these raspberry preserves are for that. You just put raspberry preserves on top of cream cheese. And then I can also make that into a heart shape easily. So very cheap, easy idea. And it's very good. It tastes very good. Um, this minced garlic is just for my pantry. Just restocking that love using that how many eight ounces is that right yeah net weight is eight ounces it looks like i don't know what it says below that anyways um and then because i was just looking for little jars and stuff to add to my charcuterie i'll just keep saying that word um I found this green olive and red pepper tapenade. I have no idea if it's going to be good or disgusting, but hopefully it's good with some crackers and stuff. Figured I'd try it, as well as this pear mustard, which actually sounds very good. I don't know what I would put this on, but it sounds good. And it's a very cute jar as well. Okay. Uh, it's totally random. I picked up some more toothpaste. I hope I like this one because it's different from the one I got last time in this type of container. Um, it's the Crystal Mint one by Colgate. And I love these containers. You get 4.6 ounces. So yeah, I hope we like that specific toothpaste. Um, I went specifically for like candy and stuff to put out. Because um, I'll have meat and cheeses and stuff probably, but also candy because it is Valentine's Day. Um, so I went with a pink watermelon licorice. Um, they also had strawberry and cinnamon, I think. They had lots of different flavors in this Welly or Wiley Wallaby um, brand. Um, and then these were in the Valentine's Day section. I'm glad they still had stuff out because it was February 4th yesterday when I hauled this. So I'm glad they still had stuff left because they were putting out St. Patrick's Day and Easter when I went in. So these are such a great deal because this like size container is like $5 at the grocery store. Um, and you just get the cherry jelly hearts. I don't know if they're any good, but they will look cute on a charcuterie board for $1.25. And then the other thing I wanted to get there was chocolate covered raisins, because I'm not, didn't want to spend $6 again at the grocery store for a container. 
um, when I just need a little bit, but I also love chocolate covered raisins, like always. Um, what I did get from the grocery store was these, which are good stuff. Um, so they were not a dollar twenty-five, but I'm also planning on adding that in with the other candy and stuff. Um, and then these were in the Valentine's Day section. You get four, I believe, in here. Four mini packs for a dollar twenty-five. So I think it's supposed to be like a Valentine, but it's just like a ring pop. But you have lips attached to it. And I think they're probably different flavors. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. It shows like four different colors though. Like the purple, blue, red, and pink. I have no idea what's inside. It does say it comes in four lip colors, but they are all strawberry flavored. So it does stay on there. Um, yeah, I thought it'd be cute for the party for photos. It'd be a cute photo app if a few people want to, you know, wear a little pair of lips. Two empty bags. I felt like it was a big haul, but I'm already, like, two out of five bags in. Um, I picked up these. I threw these in my cart to use for a game, um, which is kind of like a ring toss, but you make heart-shaped rings out of pipe cleaners. So I wanted the different colors, because right now I just have silver. So when I found these, I picked them up. You get 45 in here. Which I've had that silver container for probably years and never gone through pipe cleaners. I don't know really what else to do with it. Um, also got some toothbrushes. I didn't get the kind with caps this time. I just got whatever this is. Value Pack Pro Tech. Medium softness, I guess. So those ones. Um, I got covers for them, but they're not in this bag. Um, and then I found these BioPure, whoa, dropped them, um, pocket size singles, so they are antibacterial hand wipes. I found, like, the giant container of this, but this is individual size, so I can, like, throw these in the diaper bag or your purse or whatever, um, and it's 16 in individually wrapped wipes, so wanted to get that. Um, these were by checkout, so I just grabbed a couple. I think you get two in here for the price. I can open it, but I'm pretty sure it's two. But I have to open them anyways. I wanted a pop, another pop of, like, red in the charcuterie board. And I also just really like these candies as well. It's just the milk chocolate. So that will go well with everything. So I got two two packs of those. Probably not the best deal for that chocolate, but I also didn't need a giant um, container that's like $13, so it works for me. Um, and then at this Dollar Tree, I found the Dr. Pepper Peeps, which I've been looking for a while. Every time I go to the one near me, they don't have it, so this one had it. I don't know what I'm going to use that for, if it's going to be for the party or for a Valentine's Day gift, or you can save it for Easter if you want, but, or we might just try them here sometime. All right, some cute stickers. We'll just show you that first. Um, I've gotten these sticker books in the past, but this is a new one or one that I haven't gotten before. Uh, I love, like, this is my favorite one of these sticker books. You get so many in here. I love the heart glasses and the coffee. Now there's so many, so many of like similar ones in here. I don't know like how fast I'll go through them, but there's also the unicorns are kind of cute. And look at that lipstick. So the keys, it's all cute. So I had to pick this one up. Yeah, it's just a lot more of the same, but it's all cute, so I'm sure I'll go through them eventually. Okay, I don't know what to show you next. Um, let's go with the mini tree topper that I found. 
Now the tree is behind me so you can kind of see how it will look back there. Um, they had a red and a pink one and I ended up getting the pink one. Um, I'm still not sure on my decision. I probably should have just gotten both, but um, the pink one will be cute. So that's what it looks like. I'm glad they had some tree accessories because my Dollar Tree didn't have any. Like They restocked the trees multiple times, but I didn't find any ornaments or anything. Um, so yeah, finally I get something for it. Um, and then the, my Dollar Tree was out of ribbon, so I found... They had a few of these left. I think this was the last one of this style. Alright. So, I love the XOXO pattern. I can use that for a lot of stuff um, in decor and for the party. I saw you can tie bows around the stems of champagne glasses, which I have a set um, for events and stuff. So, I might do that. I thought it would be really cute. Um, and then I found this towel scrunchie. I only found one. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or give it away as, like, a game prize kind of thing. Um, but I've always wanted to try a towel scrunchie. Now, this looks like more of a microfiber towel, like the hair towels. So, I don't know. Sometimes microfiber feels weird, like the texture. So, I don't know if I will like how this feels. But it's very cute, and I could also give it away as a little Valentine's Day present. That's the only one I found when I was there. But they were literally, like, packing up Valentine's Day to make room for other holidays, so. So. Okay, I got this kind of another heavy bag. Um, there's some food and stuff in here, I think. I went down the baby aisle, and there wasn't much new. Um, this is something on it. Um, this is for a baby shower I'm going to this weekend. Another one, yes. <laughs> I think in my last Dollar Tree haul, I got stuff for a baby shower as well. Um, but this is a different one. It's for a little girl, but they don't want um, pink stuff. So I just got yellow to be safe. I really wish they had green, but this is now like my favorite bottle brush. So if you're in the market for a bottle brush, we really like the suction on the bottom. And it's $1.25. So, and it's something consumable because... Just like dish sponges, we've gone through a couple of these already um, with our son's bottles. So now I just want to get one for like everyone I know who's having a baby. Okay, that's going to fall, but it's okay. Um, I was looking for some crackers, and this is like all that I found. That wasn't a bonus. I almost accidentally bought a bonus item because my Dollar Tree doesn't have like any bonus items. So... I wasn't looking for that one, but this one has it scattered throughout the store as well as a whole aisle of bonus items. But this was a dollar twenty-five um, thin vegetable snack crackers. So I thought this would be good for the charcuterie board with like tapenade or jam or something. Um, yeah, they sound really good. These mini pies are just for us for snacks you get three mini pies in here um and we haven't tried these it's by jj's bakery so i've never seen them at dollar tree don't know if they're new don't know if they're good so there you go i only got one of those um and then this is just another thing i'll probably give with the baby shower present is the hello bath time baby shampoo by fisher price I think I've hauled this for other baby showers in the past, but this one is the hypoallergenic, dye-free, just, I'm pretty sure it's unscented, you would think. Um, yeah, I don't see fragrance here at all, so it's just like a plain baby bath wash, baby body wash. Well, it actually says shampoo, but I'm sure you could use it as body wash, you know, for babies. Maybe a couple more things in this bag. I got a spicy brown mustard to try. I thought my husband would like putting this on stuff. Um, yeah, we didn't get any mustard at the store, so I picked this up at Dollar Tree to try. Um, and then I found some of the Hey Humans products. So this one is Lavender Vanilla, uh, my favorite. I did not smell it in store because I did not have to. Um, and I was kind of in a hurry just because the baby was upset, even though he just needed a nap. 
uh, yeah, it smells good. I like lavender and vanilla, so it's like one of my favorite scents, and it's the body wash. So I'm really excited to try this. I only saw one, so I only grabbed one. I might have gotten two if they had more. Um, you get 14 fluid ounces in here, so I don't know why Dollar Tree has it, but I'm glad I found it. Love trying new body washes. All right. I think this is the last bag. Yeah. It didn't seem like that big of a haul when I was, like, in the store. And then, like, you know, I had a long receipt. And now it still doesn't seem like as big as I thought, I guess. Um, I needed some more streamers. Well, need is a strong word, but I had more red streamers than I had pink. So I wanted an even number for our crepe paper game because this is 175 feet and I only had like, I had less pink streamers than I had of the red. So I got more pink. Um, this little dollhouse, I went down the toy aisle and picked this up for a friend. Um, hopefully it fits in her dollhouse. It says it's ages three plus and it says fits most. So... <laughs> Hopefully, she because she got a dollhouse with a, um, you know, a table set with an umbrella hole, but no umbrella. So I thought this would work for her. So I picked it up for $1.25. Um, and I was in the toothbrush section, obviously, and saw these adorable toothbrush sets. And I just picked it up because it was adorable. I could not decide which one. Um, so I just got the purple cup, matches my bathroom with the green toothbrush. They had different colors of the Crayola ones and they also had Hot Wheels. So I had no idea what to get. I just got the one that matched my bathroom because my son is eight months old so he obviously doesn't have any opinion. Like I don't know if he'll like Hot Wheels or not, you know? So you get the one toothbrush, one cap, and one rinsing cup. How adorable is that? It doesn't give an age range in here. I'm sure it's just like safe for toddlers or just little kids I'll hold on to it um for him I don't know like I don't know why I would give it to anyone else I'll just hold on to it um these are the covers which I have hauled in the past but I picked up two for the toothbrushes I got um they're like the Steripod dupes I really like the Steripods I haven't actually tried the ones that I got yet but I wanted to get them while I saw them. So a blue and an orange. And the brand is Gironata, I guess. So it's got like essential oil vapors to kind of keep your toothbrush clean and fresh. That's what it says. If you've never tried the Steripods, they got those essential oils in there as well. Okay, I found this little book in a random spot. Um... And Jax was upset and I kind of gave it to him and it made him smile. And I don't know if he will like Arthur, but I kind of watched Arthur growing up. And it was a cute book. So he doesn't have any Arthur books, but they had a whole collection at Dollar Tree. Like a few Arthur books. So I just got this one, Arthur Helps Out. Very cute. So yeah, I'm excited to read that to him. It's not necessarily a baby book, but... Still like playing with it anyways and a few things so I really mostly just went for like the food and candy and stuff specifically from Dollar Tree and just stuff for the party um, I got these candles they're actually apple cinnamon which is weird because they look pink and they're in like not Valentine's Day packaging but they had other pink ones I didn't like the scent of those as much so I got the apple cinnamon but I like the pink candles. I like switching out my tea light candles to match my decor. So there you go. Um, and then in the Valentine's Day section, I got these necklaces. I just got one four pack. Um, again, for photos or just for the party, I thought it'd be fun. I had them last year and, or not last year, but the last time I threw a Valentine's Day party and we wore them for photos. And then I think people took them home so I don't have any so I just picked up one pack to have for this weekend um and then one uh heart bowl I don't know what I'm gonna put it in it yet I did make a popcorn mix I've already started setting up um 
back there. So I could put that in here, but I also have like this bowl that I've hauled in the past um, from Dollar Tree. So I've got a couple different options and I've got a gluten-free and a not gluten-free mix. So yeah, we'll see what I put in there, but I just thought it was a very versatile and cute bowl. So I just didn't know what to put in it, but I finally picked it up. Um, that is all. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you haven't yet, uh, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. I don't know how to stop this video guys. Okay. Bye.